Hello YouTube, um, welcome to my channel, MailWatch1982, this is Daniel. Today, I want to show you how to make Four Thieves Vinegar. Now, this isn't something that I use myself. I actually use the fire water recipe from the Lady Grave Dancer, and it works awesome. I did add a few extra things to mine, um, but it, it's it's really good. But I thought I would share this recipe for you. Um, it's great for banishing and protection, ending relationships, healing, um, protecting your home. It's good for all kinds of stuff. So, really, a lot of people call for you to, to it, you use four cloves of garlic. A lot of people say to mince them up. I don't use this. I'm just making a very, very little spray bottle of this. I'll go ahead and use it because I'm making it. But I just broke my four garlic cloves in half. And I also added some mint leaves in here. I've already got those in there. And then I'm going to add to this some just ground black pepper. You can use whole peppercorns if you like. I like whole peppercorns better, but I don't have any right now. So ground black pepper is going to work. All right, so now you have some mint leaves in here, your garlic and black pepper. And you don't have to use mint leaves or black pepper. Um, you can use anything that is... To, personally, I believe you can use anything that's considered protective and, and all. So, next, I'm going to add clove and I usually put 10 cloves in my recipes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, there goes the cloves. Now I'm gonna use some just crushed red pepper. And there's no certain amount you can use what use whatever feels right to you. And of course, if you was making a big like gallon jug of this or whatnot, you would definitely want to use a lot more. But all right, next I'm gonna put rosemary. big mess. Generally I would make this stuff um, at my altar, but I was sitting here and thought that I would make this video and show you how to make this Four Thieves vinegar. So I just grabbed some stuff out of my kitchen. I have a lot more herbs and stuff up underneath my altar. So then you've got, so now you've, in mine I've got the mint leaves got the four cloves of garlic, got the whole cloves, the crushed red pepper, and the rosemary. Now you can add other ingredients to this if you would like, but generally it's the, the clove of garlic and then four other um, herbs. So you got all that stuff in there. And you're just going to take vinegar. I'm using just plain distilled white vinegar. You can buy fancy vinegar if that's what suits you. I'm going to fill this up with vinegar. And this is actually a spray bottle, so it would work really good in the spray bottle a lot most of the time I don't use plastic when I'm making any kind of stuff like this I always use glass but like I said I generally don't use this it works great it's just something that I generally don't use now once you've made this and really as you're adding your ingredients 
you can enchant them one at a time, or you can wait till you have everything in there and enchant it all, put your intentions of, of protection in, in this when you're done. Now, what you're going to do is, after you have this mixed up and, and put your intentions in it and all, you're going to let it set for four full days. A lot of people recommend setting it in the sun. I am not going to set it in the sun. I'm actually going to put it on my altar for four days. And each day you want to shake it. So we're going to shake it really good today. Today's day number one. And after this video, I'll put my intentions into it and, and I'll... So there you have it. Four Thieves Vinegar. Great for protection. If you want to use a spray bottle like this, spray around your property. Spray it in the corners of your homes, your, around your altar. Use it in spell work. It's good for all kinds of stuff. You can research it also, for Thieves Vinegar, and get the story behind it and all online if you'd like to. But there you have it, for Thieves Vinegar. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I'll put my email in the link below. Email me for any questions. Everyone have a great day, and blessed be.